I think they will also join. Others will also join. <coughs> also, I have already muted all of you. <coughs> Pardon me. Everybody can uh, give your role in the chat box so I can, you know, figure it out later. So <clears throat> in the last class, we have seen some of the diode circuits, how diode circuit works. And uh, also that was for, you know, DC. Everything was in DC, direct current. <laughs> Today we will see some of the diode application, application of diode. And one of the application is rectifier. Okay. So what is rectifier? We'll discuss, no problem. But one of the application is rectifier. Today we'll start this slide and let's see till 11.30 where we can go. <coughs> we have so many classes, so you know we don't need to worry. So the first thing first today is half wave rectifier. How it works and what is that we'll discuss half wave rectifier and uh, also <coughs> very interestingly today we will see the ac okay the ac voltage how ac voltage uh, works with diode how diodes operates during ac voltage we all know that AC voltage is nothing but a sinusoidal wave. Here you can see I'm drawing in the uh, sinusoidal wave. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, my distortion. But sinusoidal wave where we have two peaks. Okay, one is positive cycle, one is negative cycle. And total two, uh, two half cycle com makes one full cycle. So that, and this continues to repeat. We all know this continues to repeat. So, so half wave rectifier, how we can build a half wave rectifier? We can build a half wave rectifier if a diode connected to a AC source and to a load resistor. When a diode is connected to a AC source and a load resistor, you see the diagram, a diode, the diode you can see that the silicon diode is connected with the AC source VI the AC source and also the load resistor R the load resistor R when we will you know make this kind of circuit combination where the diode will be connected with the AC source and a load resistor we can call it a half wave rectifier okay and why it is known as half wave rectifier we will discuss very soon but at first remember when the diode is combined with a voltage ac voltage source and a load resistor that is r at that time it will be a half wave rectifier okay so we'll see how half wave rectifier works <coughs> you know that this is the half wave rectifier circuit i have just i have just you know uh, made this the line you know this is diode here is resistance and now vi you know represents the ac voltage so already it is represented as the ac voltage vi and vo is the output voltage so we will see how this half wave rectifier works and we all know that in the ac voltage in the ac voltage it has two cycle one is positive cycle one is negative cycle so we'll see first the positive cycle and we'll then we will see the negative cycle how the negative cycle 
works okay so you see that this is the positive cycle vi this is the i'm drawing please try to follow i'm drawing this is the positive cycle input positive cycle and we will try to input this positive voltage this positive voltage into this half wave rectifier we all know we all know that when you will connect a positive voltage with a diode then it will be forward biased isn't it forward biased forward bias means diode suppose a diode i'm drawing a diode and the side i am drawing a diode i have learned a new tactics that's why i'm using this today hope it will help all of you this is a diode okay so this diode will be forward biased when and we all know that this this triangular structure is p and this vertical one is n so the triangular structure is connected with plus and the vertical one the n is negative at that time this is forward bias okay at first we are dealing with ideal diode not silicon diode we are dealing with ideal diode because silicon diode has a barrier potential of 0.7 volt but ideal diode just 0 volt 0 volt when you increase 0 0.1 it becomes forward biased but for silicon diode you have to reach at least 0.7 volt then it will be forward biased or starting to flow the current okay so uh, you see that in this direction the vi that was the positive the positive cycle at that time when it starts to flow the current the current flow is in this direction in this direction the current flow so that's why this is positive this is negative so the diode is forward biased the diode is forward bias i'm just to erase the diode is forward biased because because the positive the diode is positive and um, this terminal is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal so we can see that the diode is in forward biased so that means when the voltage will increase from zero when the voltage will increase the zero from the zero the diode will be positive volt positive so at that time it will be shorted line it will be shorted line so the current will flow within the diode and the load resistors will also get the current so when the load resistors will get the current we all know that the diode voltage will be zero vd will be zero the vd let me clear everything vd because it is the ideal diode so that's why the vd will be zero for silicon it is 0.7 but the, when we are dealing with the ideal diode the vd is zero so when vd is zero whole vi whole vi will be applied in the v output because there is no voltage drop in the diode so all the input voltage will be all the input voltage will be across the resistor and we all know that the resistor across voltage is our the output voltage because that's why in this diagram you can see this is the input vi from 0 to t by 2 t by 2 means the full cycle is t so t by 2 is half cycle i think you already know what is the meaning of this because you have studied electrical circuit 2 okay so from 0 to t by 2 this input voltage is like that is like that this is the input voltage ac input voltage but at first we are dealing with the first half cycle that's why here is drawn so as the diode is in forward biased so when the voltage will be in the positive cycle or we already discussed the whole vi will be the v 
output that's why you see that the v output is also similar like v input so in this first interval or the first half cycle the diode acts shorted and the whole input voltage is applied on the output so this was the first half cycle let me clear the drawing and go to the next slide that how the next works <coughs> okay now the during negative cycle now how the during negative cycle it works okay i'm just making it uh, hope you can see it. okay so during negative cycle uh let's see what happens so that means now the negative sign is here you know the now the sign will be changed now the input sign will be changed we all know that this is the input sign right now because we are dealing with the negative cycle we are dealing with the negative cycle where from this point to this point the negative cycle you follow my drawing this cycle so now it is the negative cycle so that the sign has been reversed sign has been reversed so now that we all know that the current starts from the positive side so the now the current will start to flow from in this way in this way the current will start to flow okay so when this the current will start to flow something like that so now the positive will be this and the negative will be this that means that now the n is positive and p is negative and we all know that so this is this is reverse biased if you remember properly this is reverse biased so when it is reversed bias when it is reversed bias we all know that there is no current flow at all it will be open circuit something like that it will be open circuit like this it will be open circuit so there will be no current flow when there will be no current flow the current starts to flow from here and when it go there will be no complete cycle so the whole circuit becomes open circuit that's why there will be no current flow the value of i will be zero the value of i of this series circuit will be zero because the circuit is open and we all know that the in open circuit there is no current flows there no there is no current flows so when the current is zero the voltage across r that load resistance is also zero when the voltage across load resistance is also zero the output voltage vo is also zero vo is also zero that's why you see that this is the input this one is the input so the output is nothing the output is nothing why because this is this one is the reverse biased this one is the reverse bias that's why there is no voltage in the negative cycle so sir what is half wave rectifier half wave rectifier is that circuit that cuts the negative cycle you see that the input was something like that the input was total cycle was something like that but it only gives the positive cycle in the output and there is no voltage in the negative cycle so i am giving you a proper drawing suppose the input is something like that it goes you know we all know this is the sinusoidal voltage pardon me for my bad drawing this is sinusoidal voltage but in the output we will get something like that we'll get only get the positive cycle the negative cycle it is reverse bias so we will not get the negative cycle so we will only get the positive cycle okay so this is half wave rectifier okay because this rectify or this cuts the negative cycle and gives only the half cycle that is positive cycle that's why it is known as half wave rectifier and we all already discussed how it works in the positive cycle how it works in the negative cycle and we all know that this cycle continues so that this process also becomes repeated okay so that was the
that was the discussions over ideal diet now we will see the effect if we replace this ideal diet using silicon diet okay okay let's see that how this change over <coughs> now we have to make it a very small size okay now you can see so this is the effect of silicon diet silicon diet we all know that in silicon diet in silicon diode we all know the vd the voltage diode voltage vd equals to Point 0.7 volt we all know point 0.7 volt vd equals to point 0.7 volt in the ideal diode vd was zero volt but in silicon diode vd equals to point 0.7 volt okay so let's see how it works so remember now the circuit will be remain same now what the change will be in the in the the change will be in the waveform you see this is the input voltage so let's see what happens in the forward side so when the forward voltage you know in the forward cycle the circuit is the circuit is forward biased the diode is forward biased so in the forward cycle my student the interesting thing happens when the voltage starts to increase in the you know suppose like the voltage starts to increase you know the voltage starts to increase and after the peak point that is vm it becomes decrease it becomes to decrease that is the positive cycle so at first so as it is a silicon volt diode so that's why it has a 0.7 volt barrier potential that's why that's why it has a change in the diagram we have to draw a offset line of 0.7 volt why because this circuit is will not work this circuit will not work until the voltage becomes 0.7 until the voltage become 0.7 that means the vi when we are applying vi like ideal diode it starts you know forward biased from the very beginning from 0.1 something like that but after reaching vi the 0.7 volt the circuit will forward biased the diode will be forward biased at that time the circuit will be forward biased at that time the current will flow okay so that's why we have drawn a 0.7 volt offset line so from when the voltage starts to increase in the input the output will not happen something like that the previous time because till 0.7 there will be no output after 0.7 the output voltage will happen so at that time so that's why the offset line comes here you see this is the offset line of 0.7 volt and similarly in the downside also the 0.7 offset line <coughs> so pardon me so now in this offset line you can see from before this offset and after this offset there will be no output voltage because of when it will become greater than 0.7 it will have the input so basically we can see this this part only this part from only this part give me i'm, I'm making a harder one only this part we can get the output because this is above 0.7 volt above 0.7 volt this shaded area we will get the output we will not get the full output because of the 0.7 volt offset okay i'm just clearing all my drawing that's why till 0.7 it has zero volt after 0.7 
it becomes to increase and when getting down when the point 7 reached after that it becomes a zero volt so that is the effect and one more thing one more thing is de described at first the peak was vm but when it was ideal diode the, the peak will be vm but now the diode have a voltage of 0.7 volt you can see the diode have a voltage 0.7 volt so the diode will take this 0.7 volt so the rest of the volt the rest of the voltage will be on the output so that's why vi minus vd vi minus vd so vi you know in the positive cycle we know that the top voltage is vm the peak voltage we know vm minus vd it will be the vm minus vd that's why you can see that the vm minus vd here okay this is the effect of silicon diode or the barrier potential in the rectifier circuit so this this comes to end for the positive cycle in the negative cycle this sign will be reverse. I haven't drawn the circuit twice. This circuit sign will be reverse. Now the current will be in this direction. The current will be in this direction. So right now, right now this will be positive. This will be negative, which is this is these circuits or this diode becomes reverse biased. The circuit becomes reversed bias. So when the reversed bias, it if it is silicon diode or ideal diode, this is reversed bias. That means the current is current I will be zero. So when the current I will be zero, so it will it has no effect of silicon diode. So the VO, the output voltage will be also zero. So that's why that's why in the negative cycle it has zero volt something like same same like ideal diode okay it will have same just the effect of in the positive side so these two these small parts these is small here and here i'm just erasing the negative cycle and showing you the positive cycle effect these small parts and these small parts this is the offset due to this is the offset you can see this is the offset due to the voltage vd where vd is 0.7 volt for silicon hope you understand <clears throat> so now we'll see what is the average value because you know uh, when we uh, try to measure using our dc voltmeter or something like that uh, we will we'll get the because the negative cycle has the zero voltage but the positive cycle the voltage the average value will give us the voltage average voltage the average voltage the average value gives us the average voltage during cycle we we, we know the term uh, you know terms the rms voltage the average voltage so this is the average voltage throughout the cycle so it is very easy it is very easy uh, just we need to see because we have already understood what is uh, the you know we have already understood that uh, what is the differentiation what is the integration in different mathematical course that's why it will be very easy for all of you just i'm just showing you a little bit so that you can see so you see that in the first cycle in the first cycle you have the voltage but in the negative cycle the output is zero so that's why in the positive cycle vm equals to or v output equals to vm sine omega t the sign just the sign where zero is zero to pi you know half cycle is pi 180 degree this is half cycle t by 2 which is also pi and the total cycle is twice pi i hope you know that the total cycle is 2 pi 
and the half cycle is only pi the 180 degree okay and in the snake cycle the output is zero now we'll get the output voltage the output average voltage okay so from zero to twice pi i'm clearing my drawing from zero to twice pi that will be the limit in the integration and the v output d omega t and divided by the total cycle twice pi minus zero so if, if we make this calculation we'll get the if we make this calculation we will get the average voltage you know we all know the differentiation how to do it i'm just showing you that next time uh, 2 pi minus 0 it will be twice pi so i have taken this 1 by twice pi in the first side and i have put the value of v output because i have divided into the two cycle 0 to pi then pi to 2 pi so 0 to pi this is the positive cycle and pi to 2 pi this is the negative cycle and this will be the value will be zero here it will be zero so we will omit this so basically it will be remain this will be only remain this will the positive cycle will only remain so one by twice pi zero to pi vm sine omega t d omega t <clears throat> if we integrate you know vm is the vm here vm is the constant so that's why i have taken vm outside of this integration and if you integrate sine omega t it becomes minus cos omega t so you see that the minus cos omega t and the limit is pi and zero okay i know that you know the integration this type of integration so i'm not wasting many times just just you know giving you a small idea so next just apply the you know <clears throat> limit in the cos so the cos pi minus minus cos zero okay now if you place the value in the calculator the cos pi the cos 180 degree is the minus one and the cos zero degree is also minus cos zero degree is also one so if you calculate this value okay if you calculate this value it will become one minus minus one one minus minus one so basically that is two if we calculate that is two so the next it becomes vm twice pi into two two and two is crossed so bm by pi so if we replace the value pi 3.14 basically the average voltage the average value becomes 0 0.318 vm you can you can definitely understand how we get this value or you can memorize the average value for a half wave rectifier circuit is 0 0.318 vm where vm is the peak voltage where vm is the peak voltage of that cycle okay i hope you understand because you already know the differentiation and also i have described the process okay next next is a very important topic next next topic is very important topic that is peak reverse voltage that is peak reverse voltage uh that is a rating that is a rating we all know that we can uh, give uh, the positive voltage and the negative voltage to the diode but <clears throat> how much the positive voltage we can give it it doesn't have any problem but we all know that in the reverse bias in the reverse bias when we apply the voltage it really doesn't gives any kind of current very little current that is negative current very little <clears throat> which is negligible so at that time there is a limit for giving that voltage there is a limit when you cross that limit of reverse bias voltage the reverse bias voltage or negative voltage after a certain limit the diode becomes breakdown the diode totally lost its characteristics and becomes something else we'll discuss what it uh, becomes it becomes zener diode that is a total different concept but you see that this is the reverse side this is the reverse side so we will give the voltage in this side after a limit that i have marked this after that limit 
the diode becomes in this becomes in this direction that is Jena region we'll discuss what is Jena region in future but we don't need to write now but the limit is known as breakdown voltage and basically that is the peak inverse voltage or piv rating piv rating is nothing but the limit the rating that how much reverse voltage reverse bias voltage you can give that is the limit voltage in the reverse bias side okay going to the next so that's why it, it was written it was written you see that the maximum sorry the maximum reverse bias voltage that can be applied before entering the breakdown region is called piv or prv peak inverse voltage or peak reverse voltage both are same both are same <clears throat> both are same uh, so in this half wave rectifier the piv rating is vm vm and the re reverse voltage should be less less than vm should be less than vm when it will cross when it will cross the vm it will okay it will enter in the jena region so it will totally the breakdown so piv rating is basically the vm the peak voltage in the negative cycle the peak voltage in the negative cycle you see that in the negative cycle of the reverse cycle there is no current i Oh, so that's why all the VR V output is zero. So basically, the peak value in the negative cycle, you see, the peak value in the negative cycle. We all know that in the sinusoidal wave, the peak value in the negative cycle, there is a peak value in the negative cycle because it's a sinusoid wave. So the peak value in the negative cycle is the PIV rating. We should not cross that peak value. <clears throat> should not cross that. Speed value otherwise it will it will enter into the Jenner region so it's just the uh, concept uh, we'll discuss this kind of piv ratings in the uh, later few later lectures also so just the a concept of piv the maximum reverse bias voltage that can be applied okay the safely applied that can be safely applied okay now we will see an example then uh, we have only 10 minutes in our hand then we'll <coughs> complete this class okay uh this is a half wave rectifier you can see this is the half wave rectifier in this from the circuit you can see this is the half wave rectifier okay and the input is given here this is the input the sinusoidal wave input is given here so there are three questions there are three questions given there are three questions given here. Uh, the, let me, you know, see that the first one. Before discussing the question, let me discuss the first thing first. In the positive cycle, the VI, V is plus here and negative here. Okay. So the current will start to flow something like that in this direction, the clockwise direction, the current will flow. And you see the diode. This is at first this is ideal diode. My student, this is ideal diode, not silicon diode. Silicon diode should be written in the silicon, just lower the diode. So this is ideal diode. So you see when it flows the current, this becomes positive and this becomes negative. <clears throat> you see that the P is minus, the N is plus. So this is reverse biased. In positive cycle, it is reversed by us. I think you understand properly. Today, I have already discussed this kind of things in the previous class also. You need to know the configurations of P and N in the positive and reverse bias. So when this positive cycle, the diode is reverse biased. Let me clear. In the negative cycle, this is minus, this is plus. Okay. So the current will flow in the anti-clockwise direction because the current always starts to flow from positive. So now this is positive and this is 
negative. So in the negative cycle, the diode is forward biased. I think you understand this. Understand this at first. The diode configuration. Okay, let's see what what is told. That is sketch the output. You have to draw the output vo output voltage. Okay, output voltage, and determine the DC level of the output. DC level of the output is basically the average value. The average value. So let's uh, find out the uh, sketch first. The sketch first. Sketch means you have to draw the di uh, the diagram, the voltage output diagram, something like that. You see that in the positive cycle, it is absolutely reverse biased. So that means there will be no current flow. So in the V O, it will be zero. The V output will be zero. That's why it is written that. See that it is everything is written. When the positive cycle, the diode is reverse biased. So the current is zero. So the V output is also zero. But when the negative cycle, the diode is forward biased. So the V D is zero. There will be no voltage drop in the diode, but the current will flow. The current will flow. The current will flow, and you see. Let me clear my the drawing. Okay. So in the negative cycle, you see that the negative cycle, the current will flow, and this is positive, this is negative, so it will be short circuited, something like that, short circuit. So the car, the circuit is closed, the current will flow, and there will be no voltage drop in the diode. So that's why the whole voltage will be across the resistance. The whole voltage will be across the resistance. So whatever the input voltage, everything will be transferred into the output. That's why you can see that this is the output diagram. In the positive cycle, there is no voltage as as it is a reverse biased. In the positive side, it is no, there is no voltage as it is a reversed bias. But in the negative side, the whole voltage is across the output. You see that the shaded area, the whole voltage. Because this whole negative cycle is transferred to the output here, that is 20 volt. So that was the sketch of V output. Now we need to find out the DC voltage level. You know the DC voltage level. You see that the diode will only conduct. The diode will only conduct in the negative cycle. So the average value we just learned that 0.318 VM, but as it is a negative cycle, that's why there is a minus at first. So the VDC equals to point minus 0.318 VM. The VM is the peak voltage that is 20 volt in the circuit. So the 0.318 into 20, we get the DC voltage it's minus 6.36 voltage. Okay. So this is the DC voltage. That's the equations. There is a minus will be because it is in the negative cycle. It is in the negative cycle. That's why it is in the minus. Okay. Let's see what is the ne next question. We have only four minutes. Repeat the same thing if it is silicon diode. Okay. Interesting. That means same process if it is the silicon diode. What happens at that time? Okay. Let's see what happens. One thing remember. Uh, one thing you remember in the silicon diode, the voltage VD equals to 0.7 volt. VD equals to 0.7 volt. Okay. So we already show the how it affects. Okay. So in the positive cycle, it is reverse bias. The circuit is reverse bias. That should be there will be no voltage in the output. You see, this is the V output diagram. This is the V output diagram. There will be no voltage in the output. So in the negative cycle, we need to draw this 0.7 cutoff. The cutoff we showed in the effect. So now this will be till 0.7 there will be no voltage after 0.7 there will be a voltage after that you see that this cutoff this point this point and this point till this this two point 
we will get only the voltage let me clear the drawing and one more draw if it is a ideal diode it starts from the very beginning and ends at the evening but as it is a silicon diode it will start after 0.7 and also stop before 0.7 it becomes so you know this is the offset this two will be the offset and we will get the voltage but now the peak voltage will not be the 20 volt because we have 0.7 volt of silicon so the 20 minus 0.7 it will be 19.3 the peak voltage will be 19.3 okay so the dc voltage will be 0.318 vm minus vd that means vm it was 20 volt right now it will be minus 0.7 volt because of silicon so 20 minus 0.7 we get the point minus 6.14 v and there is a minus because it is in the negative cycle let me clear the drawing and see what is the next the third c that it shows that repeat a and b if the vm the peak voltage here is 20 it is 200 volt if it is 200 volt what happens it nothing happens just the calculations nothing happens you see that uh, now the 200 volt so it will be minus 3 1 you know because the voltage was 0 0.318 vm now the vm is not 20 volt it is 200 volt that's why we will multiply with 200 volt so it will be point uh, minus 63.6 .6 ideal diode and uh, when it is silicon we have to subtract minus 7 that's why 200 minus 7 so minus 63.38 for silicon diode so that was the difference of so i think you understand because i have gone very slowly i think you understand the process um, so i will tell you that uh, i will give this uh, video lecture and also i have already given the uh, slide to all of you so you uh, listen this video lecture and slide and study if you have any problem then in the next class we can discuss okay so now you all give your uh, attendance in the in the chat box you give your attendance in the chat box i'm just